Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppress the protagonist. Chapter 41-41 The Value of the Old Man Jade 41 The Value of the Old Man Jade De Mao made a sound in his throat and stopped. The nearly 300 people around him were all focused on the ice-type jade. Speaking of which, how much is the value of this jade? I quite like it. If it doesn't exceed 50 million, I'll grit my teeth and buy it. What's the use of you liking it? 50 million might not even be enough to buy the peaches in this old man's hands. Is it that exaggerated? Is this thing worth so much money? What do you think? There might only be one piece of such a jade in the world. Of course its value is high. Some people who did not know anything and wanted to buy it were splashed with cold water. Zhao Ruaswang was slightly surprised when she heard everyone's conversation. She did not expect this jade to be so valuable. Yi Bei clutched his heart. He felt like he couldn't even breathe. At this moment, those who knew the ropes began to discuss the true value of this jade. Ice-type jade are rare to begin with. Such a huge piece of jade is worth at least 100 million. That's still a low estimate. The last time I saw an ice-type jade with a worse quality than this at the Shangjiang auction, it was sold for 80 million. I also know about that auction. That jade is definitely inferior to the jade in front of us. The price will probably be very different too. In my opinion, this old man jade is worth at least 200 million. After all, this kind of jade is already very rare. It's as thin as ice and has no flaws on the inside. It's really scarce. Indeed, it should be in the region of 200 million. Hearing this person's analysis, the other merchants agreed. 200 million? Luo Chen, we're really going to be rich this time. Zhao Ruaswang could not help but tremble with excitement when she heard this number. 200 million was close to the company's half a year's income. In less than half a day after they arrived at the antique center, they had already earned so much. 200 million? Luo Chen stroked his chin. This was still far from the 70 times price he'd predicted. At this moment, Yi Bei wished he could chop off his hand. Of the hundreds of raw stones here, which one could he not choose? He actually chose the most valuable one. Just as he was feeling regretful, the surrounding merchants continued to discuss. 200 million? I can only say that you haven't seen much of the world. This estimate is too low. Indeed, it's not like you haven't seen the size of the jade at the Shangjiang auction before. It's only as long as a forearm. This piece is nearly the height of a person. To be honest, such a huge ice-type jade is probably worth about 300 million even without the natural pattern. 300 million? How can such a huge ice-type jade be worth 300 million? If you ask me, it's worth at least 500 million. Speaking of 500 million, those who knew the industry did not find it exaggerated at all. Because there might not be a second piece of jade like the one in front of them in the entire world. At this moment, Xu Yuan suddenly said, you're looking at it too shallowly. Although the appearance and size of this jade is precious, this naturally carved old man jade is the trump card. I've seen countless good jades in my life, and I've also seen naturally carved jades. However, be it in terms of size or appearance, it can't be compared to this old man jade in front of us at all. As for the price of this jade, I once sold a naturally carved jade in the shape of a turtle. The price had reached 200 million. You have to know that the jade I mentioned is only the size of a regular person's arm. Its quality and shape are excellent. But the material of this old man jade can be said to be top grade. I estimate that it won't be a problem to sell it for 700 million. As soon as these words were spoken, the entire venue instantly stirred. 700 million. Even if they sold all their assets, they could not afford the jade in front of them. 700 million. This price is right. Luo Chen nodded in satisfaction. He knew that there would be no problems with the system. The owner of the raw stone stall, Hu Cheng, felt his mind buzzing. His stall actually sold a piece of jade worth 700 million. This was an opportunity to expand his reputation. He could not let it go. At this thought, he dialed a number and spoke. After hanging up the phone, Hu Cheng quickly walked up to Luo Chen and asked, Young Master Luo, I just asked a friend. The shape and value of this jade has already broken the Guinness Book of World Records. If you don't mind, please wait a moment. 
There will be two Guinness officials coming over today. I'll get them to verify it. Luo Chen did not mind. Sure, but hurry up. Seeing that Luo Chen had agreed, Hu Cheng was elated. Don't worry, the subject of jade is also considered as a very rare and special thing for the Guinness Book of World Records. It will be very fast to pass the verification. It won't take more than an hour. That's good. Yi Bei's expression was very ugly when he heard their conversation. Not only did he not lose any money, he even earned more than 600 million yuan. How aggravating was this? Moreover, he had even broken some Guinness record? What the FCK is this? Fuck. This bastard's luck was really good. Just as Yi Bei was thinking about this, he suddenly felt an arm wrap around his shoulder. Good brother, you've made a contribution this time. I'll give you a salary increase of 2,500 when we get back. If Luo Chen didn't break Yi Bei's mentality, he would feel that he was missing some fun. You're welcome, boss. This is all the will of the heavens. Although he was furious, he still had to act as if he was very happy for Luo Chen. Luo Chen smiled and said, The two ice type jade from before can probably be sold for a lot of money. This old man jade can be used as a birthday gift for grandpa. Because of the appearance of the old man jade, the price of the previous jade rose exponentially. That size and reputation of the old man jade could probably help him sell the other jade for about 200 million. He had more or less enough money. He had to give his grandfather a grand gift. When Xu Yuan heard this, he said regretfully, Kid, you don't intend to sell this old man jade. Initially, he wanted to buy the old man jade, but it seemed impossible now. Yes. Luo Chen nodded and said, But the previous ice jade can still be sold. Kid, you're so filial. You even held back from making a move with so much money. In his heart, he became even more satisfied with Luo Chen. The surrounding onlookers echoed. Young master Luo is young and promising. Not only does he have good taste, but he's also extremely filial. I've really opened my eyes today. Two pieces of top grade jade in a row. Young master Luo, I can't help but admire your taste. I'm tired of saying the word envy. Hearing everyone's praise, Luo Chen waved his hand. This is mainly thanks to my colleague and my bodyguard. After all, they were the ones who chose the jade today. Young Master Luo is too polite. If you don't have the guts to pay, it's useless no matter what they choose. Those who come from large families indeed know how to bring up the people around them. They shouldn't be arrogant. He didn't forget to support the bodyguard beside him even after earning so much money. It also proves that young Master Luo is an amiable person and never looks down on anyone. These people were half sincere and half bootlicking. At the very least, a portion of them thought that if they had earned so much money, they would have long floated up in arrogance. Yi Bei gritted his teeth in anger when he heard this. Bring me up? Sooner or later, I'll destroy the Luo family? Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppressed the protagonist. Chapter 42 to 42 More Than You Know 42 More Than You Know Young Master Luo, since you're not selling the old man jade, how much are you planning to sell those two pieces of pure jade for? After everyone finished with their bootlicking, someone set their sights on the two pieces of ice type jade. Luo Chen said, 100 million per piece isn't too much, right? If he said this price before the old man jade came out, someone would definitely say that Luo Chen was crazy but it was different now. As long as they bought the jade and carved it properly, they would definitely make a huge profit by leveraging the reputation of the old man jade. Therefore, not only was this price not too much, it was even very fair. As soon as the price was announced, a few jewelry merchants immediately joined forces to buy an ice-type jade. Xu Yuan attacked again. Kid, I'll take the remaining piece of jade. In less than 10 minutes, 200 million yuan appeared on Luo Chen's card. After buying the jade, he had to go back and contact his associates. Before he left, he told Luo Chen to look for him at the Xu family whenever he needed help. He even left his phone number. Boss Hu, give me two pieces of raw stone. I want 10 pieces. Cut it quickly. How is 10 enough? Give me 20 stones. The remaining people who did not manage to buy the jade all fought to buy the raw stones instead. 
These people also hoped that they could pick out a few pieces of stone with good jade just like Luo Chen. Hu Cheng was naturally extremely happy about this. His income alone was as high as 60 million that day. After a while, the official personnel of the Guinness Book of World Records arrived. They measured the various data of the ice type jade. Without exception, each parameter exceeded the previous record in the Guinness Book of World Records. A staff member walked up to Luo Chen and said, Hello, this medal is a reward from the Guinness Book of World Records. When we return, we'll upload the data. At that time, you'll be able to see the latest data on the official website. With that, the staff handed Luo Chen a blue tag with the words World's Number One Jade engraved on it. Luo Chen put away the tag and nodded. All right, thank you for coming over. No problem. We'll leave first. The two staff left after saying that. Then, Luo Chen took out his phone and got someone to drive a small truck over to send the old man Jade back to the manor. After everything was arranged, Luo Chen looked at eBay and the others. We've gained a lot today. Do you want to go for a meal to celebrate? At this moment, Yi Bei's eyes were lifeless, and he didn't hear what Luo Chen said at all. He felt physically and mentally exhausted. 200 million. Previously, he had said like a fool that he would definitely lose money for Luo Chen. This contrast made him doubt his life. He even felt that this was all there was to life. It was meaningless. Yi Bei? I'm talking to you. Seeing that Yi Bei didn't answer, Luo Chen waved his hand in front of him. After Yi Bei regained his senses, he said weakly, No, boss. After shopping for half a day, I feel a little tired. Can I take half a day off and go back to rest? All right. Luo Chen turned to look at Zhao Rua Suang. What about you? Zhao Rua Suang also felt a little tired. My mood has been fluctuating today. I'll be listless when I eat. Why don't we go for the meal next time? Seeing this, Luo Chen didn't insist. All right, Yi Bei, drive. Go back and rest. Let's meet again another day. In an old-fashioned neighborhood. Lin Tian was humming a song in his room, feeling incomparably comfortable. Previously, Yi Bei had already told him about going stone gambling with Luo Chen. Lin Tian believed that with Yi Bei's foresight, he would definitely be able to make Luo Chen lose all his capital. Be starred, I finally let you suffer for once. The more Lin Tian thought about it, the happier he felt. However, he did not know that not only did Luo Chen not suffer a loss, he had even earned nearly 300 million. At this moment, Lin Tian Yi wanted to tell Shen Shui about this so that the other party would think that Luo Chen was just a good for nothing rich second generation heir who liked to gamble. He wanted her to stay away from such people in the future. However, when he tried to call Yi Bei or send him messages, he realized that without a doubt, he had been blocked. Fuck. This bestard actually dares to block me. Lin Tian was furious. However, he really did not want to miss this opportunity today. He could only change into a baseball uniform and head to Shen Shuyi's company. When he arrived at the entrance of the company, the security guard stopped him mercilessly. In order to protect his image, Lin Tian did not fight with these security guards. Moreover, he knew that Shen Shuyi would go to the cafe near the company for coffee every afternoon. He only needed to wait. As expected, an hour or so later, Shen Shuyi walked out of the company. Seeing this, Lin Tian hurriedly walked over. Shuyi. I've been waiting for you for a long time. What are you doing here? Didn't I tell you? You've been dismissed. Don't come looking for me again. After what happened last time, Shen Shuyi hated Lin Tian very much. There was no reason for her to keep such a lunatic by her side. Lin Tian looked a little embarrassed, but he still said, Do you want to go for a cup of coffee? I have a joke for you. It's about Luo Chen. Worried that Shen Shuyi would leave directly, Lin Tian specially mentioned Luo Chen. As expected, Shen Shuyi frowned slightly. About Luo Chen? What right do you have to laugh at him? In Shen Shuyi's heart, Luo Chen and Lin Tian were completely different. Lin Tian sneered. The general content of the joke is that a useless second generation heir gambled and lost everything in the end. If you want to know more about Luo Chen, let's go for a drink together. You're thinking too much. I know Luo Chen better than you do. It's impossible for him to be like you said. 
I advise you not to hang around my company all the time, or I'll call the police. With that, Shen Shui walked back into the company without looking back. Fuck. What did she mean by knowing Luo Chen better than me? What you know about Luo Chen is just the surface that he's showing to you. Luo Chen was a nouveau riche kid who did all kinds of evil. Hearing Shen Shui's words, Lin Tian's hatred for Luo Chen intensified. Even so, Lin Tian was not in a hurry to leave. Instead, he walked towards the cafe. As long as Shen Shui came today, he would definitely tell her about this. Shen Shui, who had returned to the company, was also frowning. Although what Lin Tian said about Luo Chen could not be trusted, she was still worried that Luo Chen had encountered some trouble. Thinking of this, Shen Shui called Luo Chen. Hello, Shui, what's the matter? Luo Chen, have you had any difficulties recently? No, why? Oh, then do you have time to look for me at the company? Let's have coffee together? Sure. Wait for me. With that, he hung up. Shen Shui was worried that Luo Chen would be too embarrassed to reveal his difficulties on the phone, so she arranged to meet him at the cafe. At this moment, after suffering a huge blow, Yi Bei fell asleep when he returned. Luo Chen could only drive to Shen Shui's company himself. Villain, with God tier choices, I suppressed the protagonist. Chapter 43 to 43 Your ancestor came to you in a dream? 43 Your ancestor came to you in a dream? Half an hour later, Luo Chen's Porsche stopped outside the company. After Shen Shuyi received his message, she specially put on some lipstick before walking out of the company. Shuyi, why did you suddenly want to ask me out for coffee? Seeing Shen Shuyi, Luo Chen asked curiously. This was because the two of them would usually set a day to day in advance. It was rarely like today. It's been too long since we last met. Can't I ask to talk to you? Is it long? Weren't we drinking together a few days ago? Aya. Why do you have so many questions? Shen Shuyi was also a little embarrassed by Lu Chen's question. The two of them chatted and laughed as they walked towards the cafe. On the way, Shen Shuyi also asked carefully, Luo Chen, have you been troubled or having fun recently? She was worried that Luo Chen would be in trouble, but she could not ask him directly. Luo Chen thought for a moment and said, I've been busy with business recently. If there's anything fun, it's that I went to the Jade Market at the Antique Center to play stone gambling in the morning. Ah? Uh? You went stone gambling? Shen Shuyi was stunned when she heard this. Could it really be as Lin Tian had said, that Luo Chen had gone to gamble? However, Shen Shuyi did not have any other emotions because of this. Her only thought was if Luo Chen still had any money in his hands. If he didn't have money, how should she give it to him? Luo Chen smiled and asked, That's right. What's wrong? Nothing much. Let's go to the cafe to rest and talk in detail. Shen Shuyi waved her hand. She was prepared to comfort Luo Chen later and ask how much he had lost. Okay. As the two of them spoke, they arrived at a cafe called Dream Speak. At this moment, Lin Tian had been waiting inside for a long time. He had been staring at the door. Seeing Shen Shuyi's figure, Lin Tian instantly became excited. But when he saw Luo Chen behind Shen Shuyi, his expression darkened again. Why did this BTCH bring him here? Lin Tian could not understand why Shen Shuyi always liked to be with Luo Chen. In terms of character, he was a hundred times better than Luo Chen. If Luo Chen had not been born into a good family, he would not even be able to compare to a strand of his hair. Luo Chen and Shen Shuyi did not notice Lin Tian's existence at all. They entered the cafe and ordered two cups of hand ground coffee. The two of them sat in the corner of the cafe and chatted and laughed. When Lin Tian saw this scene, he was immediately furious. He held a cup of coffee and walked straight towards the two of them. Bang! After walking over, Lin Tian smashed the coffee on the table. The coffee inside splashed all over Luo Chen's white shirt. Luo Chen. You still have the mood to come for coffee after losing the entire morning? Hurry up and go home to think about how to cheat some pocket money. After Lin Tian threw out the coffee, he began to mock. Shen Shuyi also stood up angrily and scolded, Lin Tian. What are you trying to do, you lunatic? 
do you believe that I'll call the police to arrest you? With that, she quickly took out a wet towel to wipe the coffee stains on Luo Chen's chest. Lin Tian was even angrier when he saw this scene. What do I want to do? I just want to tell you that Luo Chen is just a useless rich second generation heir. Other than spending his family's money, he has no ability at all. Xu Yi, I advise you to stay away from such a person. If he can lose tens of millions today, he can lose hundreds of millions tomorrow. Sooner or later, all his assets will be lost. It's not good for you to be too close to him. Previously, Yi Bei had sworn to Lin Qian that he would lose all of Luo Chen's money. As Lin Qian was too excited and Yi Bei didn't reply to his messages when he slept, he subconsciously thought that Yi Bei had fulfilled his promise. What does it matter to you how much he loses? Even if he loses, I'm willing to help him pay it back. Shen Shuyi stood in front of Luo Chen and opposed Lin Qian. Luo Chen was expressionless as he sneered in his heart. It seemed that Yi Bei was like a surveillance camera beside him. Whenever something happened, it was always Lin Qian who gave him the suggestions. Now that he understood their tactics, Luo Chen naturally knew how to deal with them next. Lin Qian said angrily, How can you be so stupid? Before Shen Shuyi could retort, Luo Chen stood up and stood in front of Lin Qian. Lin Qian, if you're mentally ill, go to the hospital to take a look. Did your ancestor send you a dream to tell you that I lost in stone gambling? Luo Chen naturally would not swallow his anger. He was a villain. Which villain was so cowardly? Lin Tian said disdainfully, You dare to say that you didn't lose? I dare. Luo Chen nodded and continued, I even dare to tell you that I've earned 260 million this time. I also uncovered a precious jade worth 700 million. It's in my house right now. Shen Shui, who was at the side, instantly felt much better when she heard this. She knew that Lin Tian would deliberately defame Luo Chen. Seeing that Luo Chen had not lost and had even earned some money, Shen Shui was even happier than if it was her who had earned the money. Lin Tian frowned and muttered to himself, How is that possible? It shouldn't be. You're lying. With Yi Bei around, how could Luo Chen win? Luo Chen must be lying. Luo Chen said disdainfully, Why? How low are your standards? Before Lin Tian could retort, a piece of news suddenly appeared on the television hanging in the middle of the cafe. Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to New Things in Jiang City. The caster suddenly informed us of a piece of important news. That is, this morning, someone unveiled a top-grade ice-type jade in the antique center. This jade is not simple. It hasn't been processed at all. The shape inside is like an old man holding an immortal peach and it's thus called the old man jade. Many people present have seen it with their own eyes. They said that when they saw this old man jade, they felt mentally refreshed, as if it had some magical effects. Moreover, according to what we know, this old man jade is worth 700 million. Moreover, its appearance, size and naturally carved shape have broken the Guinness Book of World Records. It's currently in the Luo family's collection in our city. There's no information about it being available for sale at the moment. Lin Tian, who was about to refute, felt as if someone had cast an immobilization art on him. What the heck? Was Yi Bei's mind filled with SHT? He couldn't even do something like stone gambling well? Previously, when they were in the Golden Triangle, they had traded a lot of this thing. They could roughly tell at a glance if a piece of raw stone was good or bad. Could it be that Yi Bei had defected to the enemy and deliberately helped Luo Chen choose a large batch of valuable stones? In short, Lin Tian did not think that a piece of trash like Luo Chen could choose any valuable raw stones himself. Luo Chen sneered. Lin Tian, are you still going to continue lying? Lin Tian did not say anything. He snorted and left. Shen Shuyi also asked, do you need me to call the police to arrest him? No, let's have coffee. All right. Since Luo Chen did not lose any money, Shen Shuyi's mood improved a lot. The two of them chatted happily. On the way back, Luo Chen looked at the stains on his clothes and took out his phone to dial a number. Erhu, find a few retired special forces soldiers and teach that Lin Tian a lesson. There's no need for a gun. Don't kill anyone. Just beat him up. Villain, with God-tier choices, I suppress the protagonist. Chapter 44-44 Splitting Up 44 Splitting Up 
How could a great villain like him suffer such grievances? Yes, young master. I'll arrange for someone to do it now. On the other end of the phone, Erhu replied in a low voice. Although Lin Tian was strong, he was not invincible. Coupled with the acupuncture he had given himself previously, his strength was no longer as vibrant as before. That night, Lin Tian fell asleep at home after drinking. When he finally sensed the danger that he normally would have sensed long ago, he suddenly opened his eyes and realized that there was a group of masked burly men standing in his house. Who are you? Before Lin Tian could say anything else, he was beaten up by those people. Kid, I'll spare your life this time. Keep a low profile in the future. A few minutes later, the burly leader left the room with the others. Only Lin Tian was left lying on the bed like a dead dog. Three days later. As usual, Luo Chen brought Yi Bei to the company. As soon as he walked into the company hall, Luo Chen clapped his hands. Everyone, come over. I have something to announce. With Luo Chen's words, both the company's higher-ups and grassroots employees gathered in the hall. Zhen Zekiang, who was standing at the front, asked, Young Master Luo, what instructions do you have? I can't say that it's an order. I have good news for you. Everyone will get an additional 10,000 yuan bonus this month. Also, you can have two more days off. Luo Chen smiled. When everyone heard this news, they instantly erupted with joy. 10,000 yuan was enough for them to do many things. Young Master Luo is so generous. Thank you, Young Master Luo. That's great. I was just worried that I wouldn't have enough to spend this month. I can finally catch my breath. The employees thanked Luo Chen. Luo Chen waved his hand. You don't have to thank me. Thank Yi Bei. After saying that, Luo Chen pushed the dumbfounded Yi Bei in front of everyone. Then, Luo Chen told them about his stone gambling. In the end, Luo Chen didn't forget to add, if not for Yi Bei, I wouldn't have been able to earn so much money. PFFT. Hearing this, Yi Bei felt a sharp pain in his heart. If not for him, Luo Chen would not have earned so much. What a sin. He shouldn't have followed him at that time. Just as Yi Bei was feeling regretful, the group of employees surrounded him. Bro Bei is awesome. Ever since Bro Bei came to the company, our bonus has increased every few days. Bro Bei, continue working hard. I hope you can do better in the future. Hearing these people's words, Yi Bei felt as if his heart had been stabbed with a knife. But even so, Yi Bei had to appear very happy on the surface. Ha ha ha, everyone is too polite. I was just lucky. If not for the fact that he was afraid that Luo Chen would notice something amiss, Yi Bei really wanted to turn around and leave. After celebrating for a while, everyone returned to their posts. Yi Bei followed the antagonist back to the office. At noon, Yi Bei, who was standing guard outside the door, suddenly received Lin Tian's message and arranged to meet him at a restaurant. Putting away his phone, Yi Bei walked into the office. He came to Luo Chen and said, Boss, a friend of mine asked me to send him something. Can I take a short leave? I'll be back soon. Luo Chen nodded. Go on, just come back before lunch. Yes, boss. After Yi Bei finished speaking, he turned around and left. Looking at Yi Bei's back, Luo Chen frowned slightly. It seemed that he should strengthen his defenses again in the near future. How could Yi Bei have any friends in Jiang City? He was definitely meeting Lin Qian. These two fellows really don't give up. They're always planning to deal with him. Luo Chen shook his head and decided to be more vigilant, little fatty stir-fry restaurant. As soon as Yi Bei entered, he saw Lin Tian, who was sitting in the corner, waving at him. Lin Tian? What happened to your face? When Yi Bei saw Lin Tian's face, he almost couldn't help but laugh. After being beaten up yesterday, Lin Tian's face was as swollen as a pig's head, and there were dark rings around his eyes. What are you laughing at? Yi Bei, tell me the truth. Are you already on Luo Chen's side? Lin Tian asked angrily. After Yi Bei repeatedly helped Luo Chen to earn money, Lin Tian finally couldn't help but question him. Bullsh T. Am I that kind of person? It's purely a coincidence that Luo Chen earned money. Do you think I wanted this? Hearing this question, Yi Bei was furious. What happened this morning was already infuriating enough, but Lin Tian still said such things. Lin Tian sneered. He he, 
I really don't know what kind of person you are now. What kind of bullshit is this? Yi Bei slammed the table and stood up. I already said that it was a coincidence. If you don't trust me, then we'll go our separate ways in the future. Don't look for me anymore. With that, Yi Bei planned to leave. Seeing that Yi Bei didn't look like he was faking it, Lin Tian hurriedly stood up to stop him. Brother, don't be angry. Anyone would have some doubts about this. Let's sit down and talk. I promise not to doubt you anymore. On account of their time together as the five tigers, Yi Bei sat down again. Lin Tian immediately said, Brother, we can't continue like this. Luo Chen is earning more and more. When he completely grows up, it will be as difficult as ascending to the heavens to deal with him. What can we do? This guy's luck is too good. He can make money every time. Thinking of this, Yi Bei felt that the heavens were too unfair. But we can't just stop doing anything just because he's lucky, right? I have a plan. The two of us can split up. Luo Chen has earned so much money in a short period of time. He must be in an arrogant state. Pay more attention to him. As long as there's a losing business, think of a way to trap him. After he loses money, he will definitely be in a bad mood. At that time, think of a way to bring him to the bar. I'll let Nightingale approach him. At that time, she'll directly accuse him of molesting and we can make that bastard Luo Chen lose money and lose his reputation. After being beaten up yesterday, Lin Tian did not sleep and thought about his plan for the entire night. Nightingale was a woman he had saved at the border previously. Not only did she have a cold appearance, but she was also very professional in collecting information. After coming to Jiang City for so long, almost all the information Lin Tian had was provided to him by Nightingale. Yi Bei nodded. Sure, we'll do as you say. One more thing. Help me keep an eye out and see if there are any burly men around Luo Chen. Tell me if there are. Lin Tian was certain that it was Luo Chen who had sent the thugs last night. Although he had also offended some hooligans before, he could send them flying with one hand. However, the group of burly men last night was very strong. They were not inferior to the Imperial Dragon Army at all. As the dignified Dragon King, he would definitely not pretend that nothing had happened. He would definitely have his revenge, including against the most damned Luo Chen. All right, I'll keep an eye out. If there's nothing else, I'll leave first. If I go back too late, I'm worried that Luo Chen will suspect me. Yi Bei nodded and turned to leave the restaurant. Villain, with God tier choices, I suppressed the protagonist. Chapter 45 to 45 International Heavenly King 45 International Heavenly King When Yi Bei returned to the company, his lunch break had just ended. Yi Bei, you came back at the right time. Inform the higher ups of the various departments and have them come to the conference room for a meeting. Luo Chen instructed. Although he had some savings now, it was still an insignificant grain of sand compared to the entirety of Dragon Kingdom, so he had to constantly strengthen himself. Yes, boss. Yi Bei nodded and followed Luo Chen's instructions. After a while, the high level executives led by Zhao Ruoswang gathered in the meeting room and sat down. Luo Chen sat beside Zhao Ruoswang as usual. Zhao Ruoswang asked, Vice President Luo, why did you suddenly call us for a meeting? Now, Zhao Ruoswang's attitude towards Luo Chen has changed. Her voice was much gentler than before. It's like this. Now that I've earned 300 million yuan of strategic funds, I'd like to expand into some new businesses. Hence, I'd like to see what suggestions everyone has. Luo Chen went straight to the point and expressed his intentions. President Luo, there don't seem to be any businesses worth investing in recently. Old Chen is right. We've already invested in all the industries with potential in the country. The rest are those with poor potential. There's no need to invest in them. President Luo, if you insist on investing, we can look into the pet industry. Recently, the overall market of the pet industry has clearly grown. The high-level executives expressed their suggestions one after another. Luo Chen stroked his chin. Although the industries these people mentioned were not bad, many of them would only enter the golden period ten years later. He did not have that much time to wait. President Luo, I think investing in a management company is a good choice. 
At this moment, a young man with a long fringe said. Hearing this, Luo Chen was immediately interested. In the future, celebrities could be said to be one of the most profitable professions. Moreover, many top celebrities had just debuted or had yet to debut. He could use the advantage of being a pioneer in the management line to take them in. If he packaged the celebrities a little, they would definitely become his strongest money trees. That's a good idea. I think Shang Zhang's Ying Wang Entertainment is not bad. Guanying Media has also been doing well recently. Seeing that Luo Chen was interested in the management companies, some high level executives came up with more ideas. Zhao Ruoswang was not interested in the entertainment industry, so she could not interrupt at all. After a while, Luo Chen said, You're right. In addition to investing in domestic companies, we have to send someone overseas to contact a singer named Justin Bieber. No matter how much money we spend, we have to get a collaboration with his management company. Even if these celebrities were popular, they could only earn the money of their countrymen. But Justin Bieber had the title of International Heavenly King. If not for the fact that he had taken the wrong path at a young age, his achievements would definitely be even more unimaginable. However, it was not a big problem. With him around this time, he would definitely not let Justin Bieber make the same mistake again. President Luo, is it reliable to invest in foreign singers? They don't seem to sing that well. What if we lose money? The other high-level executives also advised Luo Chen not to invest in foreign singers. Firstly, it was not as stable as investing in domestic management companies. Secondly, foreign management companies would always ask for very high prices. At that time, the profits would not make up for the losses. When Yi Bei, who was standing at the side, saw this scene, he knew that his chance had come. What are you talking about? Not reliable? Why don't you think about it? When has President Luo ever invested and lost money? Although Yi Bei didn't know this singer, judging from everyone's reaction, it seemed like an opportunity to incur losses. Upon hearing this, the high-level executives fell silent because what Yibei said made sense. Luo Chen said, Don't worry. I've heard Justin Bieber's songs. He has a lot of potential and will definitely achieve something in the future. Just do as I say. Hearing Luo Chen's words, Yibei snorted. A singer had potential just because you've heard him sing? As Lin Qian had expected, Luo Chen was indeed arrogant. This time, he would definitely lose money. All right, President Luo. Although no one was familiar with the Justin Bieber that Luo Chen was talking about, they just had to do as the boss said. Suddenly, Luo Chen thought of something. By the way, contact James Cameron and Chris Columbus for me. I want to invest in their movies. These two were the directors of Titanic and Home Alone. Once these two movies were released, they directly became classics in the film industry. Their influence was so powerful that even if one had not seen it before, they would have heard of it. Titanic alone had earned about $1.8 billion. Yes, President Luo. Everyone wrote down Luo Chen's instructions in their notebooks. Zhao Ruoswang looked at Luo Chen and could not help but sigh. She did not expect Luo Chen to have such a deep understanding of all kinds of industries. Otherwise, how could he casually mention foreign singers and directors? After instructing them on some things to take note of, everyone began to do their own things. Luo Chen also returned to his office. After about a month, Luo Chen sat on the chair and stared at the data on the computer. Justin Bieber and the two directors have both been contacted and he'd obtained a cooperative relationship with them. Now, Justin Bieber's popularity could only be said to be average. Previously, he had invested 70 million yuan in Justin Bieber's management company. Based on the current state, it was definitely a huge loss. However, Luo Chen was not in a hurry at all. Looking at the date, Justin Bieber's first popular song, Baby, was about to be released. At that time, he would probably be able to earn back the money he had invested in in no time. In the future, he would only earn money. When Yi Bei, who had come to deliver water, saw Luo Chen's solemn expression and heard the company's rumors, he knew that this investment was going to fail. Thinking that Luo Chen was finally going to be defeated, he was incomparably happy. However, Yi Bei put on a concerned expression. Boss, why do I feel like you're not in a good mood? Huh? Luo Chen was stunned. 
how can you tell that I'm in a bad mood? At the same time, he became vigilant. Yi Bei's sudden concern for him couldn't be anything good. Yi Bei suppressed his laughter and said, Boss, I also heard that the foreign management company's profits aren't very good. We might not be able to get back the money we invested, but don't fret over this matter. There will definitely be other profitable projects in the future. I'm not unhappy. You're thinking too much. Luo Chen shook his head helplessly. Yi Bei's acting skills were too bad. When Yi Bei heard that he had lost money, he couldn't help but laugh. However, Yi Bei did not feel guilty at all. He still pretended to be a kind person and advised, Boss, don't suppress anything in your heart. How about this? I'll take you to a newly opened bar tonight to relax. I reckon you'll be in a much better mood. Hearing this, Luo Chen sneered in his heart. No wonder he suddenly showed concern for him. It turned out that he had been waiting for this moment. There must be something wrong with this bar. Seeing this, Luo Chen played along. Yi Bei, you know me best. Let's go over after work.